Welcome back. Now we are going to generate the dummy data for the two tables. That is the user user's table and the jobs table. So we are going to create two model factories. So the user factory and the job factory. So the user factory is for the user model and the job factory is for the job model. So but the user factory is already created for us. So we open that file which can be found on the database and then factories. You will see it has faker for the name. That means it will generate a name, a faker name for the email column on the user's table. And then we have a faker for the email, specifically safe email, which will generate for the email column. We have email verified that, which will generate the current time. We have the faker password for the password column. Remember token for the remember token column. That is from the user table. So the only thing you're going to do on this file is add the faker image for the avatar column. Because if you go to the user table, you will see we have this avatar column, which stores all the profile picture of the user. Then once we are done creating that, we can now create the user table seeder, and then on the database seeder, we are going to call that class, and then seed. To the database so first let's create the job factory for the job model so i'm going to run php make factory and then the name of the factory is job factory in singular and capitalized so factory created successfully. Let's also create the cedar PHP artisan make cedar. The name of the cedar is jobs table cedar. So those two files have been created. The seeds or the jobs table seeder can be found on the seed directory. So if you open that file, we're just going to give or specify an instance of the jobs that you want to generate. It can be 20, 10, or 100. Then once we're done, we can go to the database seeder and call that class from this run method. First, let's go to the job factory and make sure we fill all the columns on the jobs table. So here, the first thing you're going to do is add that job class. That is the job model. Because you're generating the figure for the job model. So the first figure you're going to generate is for the client ID. If you go to the jobs table, you must make sure you fill this column. That is the client ID. So client ID. So this one we just need a random ID, which will be one to three. So that means you're going to create three users or three fake users on the user factory by specifying that on the user's table seeder which you're going to create later next column you're going to for the job title so the job title faker so let's see from the faker library that is the faker documentation so here you'll see we have, let's go at the top. We can generate a sentence. So that means one sentence, like this one. We can even specify the number of words we want on that sentence. So here, sentence in singular. We can specify the number of sentence we want, or number of words. So a random of five. To seven words 
that will make that sentence. Next column, job type. So job type, we just need a word, a single word. So a single word like this, you can even specify the number of characters that you want from that word. So word, we just want five also to seven. Next column, job description. So generate figure four. So we can use paragraphs. I think paragraphs is fine. Yeah, paragraphs. So because we want many. So paragraphs in plural. So here again, we can specify the number of paragraphs you want, random five to seven it should be true the next figure for the salary column so let's see from the documentation here we can generate a random number because salary is about numbers. So number between. So here we have number between. And then minimum. We can specify the minimum and then the maximum. So we can even copy this. like that the next figure for the slug column so figure it must be unique first and it must be a slug the next figure for the two timestamps created that so this one is just the current time which you're going to utilize the carbon and then update that So save. Now let's go to the jobs table seeder. Here now we're going to specify the instances of the job or the faker jobs that you want. So factory for the app job model. And then I just want to generate 12. 12 jobs. And then create So let's put them to 20 instead of 12 and save. Now let's go now the next step to the database seeder and call that class. I'm going to duplicate that. Then you're going to rename this one to jobs table seeder and then uncomment and save. Now let's run the db seed. So I'm going to run php artisan db seed. And then I'm going to seed only this class, which is jobs table seeder. Jobs table seeder. Enter. 
So we're getting this error on line 10. That is because we don't need this semicolon. It's just a comma, save. So let's run the DBC again. Let me copy from this. Copy. Enter. So we're getting this error again. That is integrity constraint violation. That is because we don't have any user on the user table. So in the next lecture, we'll fill the user factory and see that to the database before we run this this job stable CIDA.